Today we're exploring the best hot springs in all of Latin America. Located just outside the boundaries of Los Navarros National Park, Termales El Chifon is surrounded by the best scenery Colombia has to offer. Now, is it a smart idea to drive your brand new shiny 45-year-old van down these dirt roads to access paradise? Maybe not, but you'll find out why we did it anyway. Good morning from a very cold Los Navarros National Park. This is the entrance to the National Park and we decided to come out here to this restaurant and make this our campsite for last night because it got way too dark by the time we arrived and we didn't want to drive any further because we have no idea what the road conditions are going to be like. So we camped right next to the highway and it was by far the worst camping spot in the past two years we've had with trucks and cars constantly passing by like this. Because we have two dogs, we can't really go into the national park technically, but there are these thermal hot springs right outside that has been highly recommended by a lot of our traveler friends that have traveled this region. Good morning, you want food? <coughs> Malulu want food? <coughs> Good morning, Sim. How do you feel? <coughs> Yesterday was a pretty major drive. We drove for almost six hours, I would say. And after every major drive the next morning, I like to make sure that all the fluids are replenished and nothing has been lost. So I check the brake fluid, I check the radiator fluid, make sure it has enough to cool the engine down and not run too hot. We've had times in the past where I did not do this and our brakes did fail and that was very scary. But first we realized we ran out of gas last night. I don't want to risk going all the way down into the national park area and trying to come up with an empty tank. So we're going to drive half an hour into town to go fill up gas and then make the trek back here to go check out these hot springs. Okay. The road to Thermales is officially starting. It's showing how many minutes? 52 minutes. But the road is very bad, so let's see how long it'll take us. This one has no faith in the brown road. No, no, I'm just realistic. I know it's capacity, so I'm... Optimistic. Mm -hmm. I think it'll take like one and a half hours. What's the arrival time right now? 5.14 right now. Make it at 5.30. 6 30. Yeah, Bali, Send us taking over the Bali or Bolivian lights. Above 4,000 meters, and it got freezing cold. One of our favorite things to do is have this samahan. It's like a hot herbal drink from Sri Lanka, and it has like ginger and all these herbs. And you feel like I have a headache because of the cold, and you feel instantly good. As much as we try to avoid driving in the dark, sometimes we end up chasing a destination because stopping is not an option. So this wasn't the first time we reach a remote campsite right after the sunset and just immediately crash. But the next morning, these spaces usually reward us with a beautiful view. Same in this case with the early morning views of Los Nevados and the mythical hot springs. Good morning, so as you saw last night, we made it pretty late to the campsite and the um, plan for today is to finally check out the thermales, take a dip and then head back into town. We're trying to decide if we should walk to the thermales, it's a one hour walk or should we just drive there straight? There's mixed reviews on both. I think we'll make it. So let's drive because that's the easiest way the Bali will be able to come with us also. But it was so cold last night. Look at this, the toothpaste is frozen. It's so hard. And I'm wearing a toque, wearing my jacket. Toque that doesn't cover your ears. It's cold here. Style first, necessary. This is a good start to the day. Our rear view mirror is broken. How? I don't know, I think it broke in the cold. 
Why are we doing this, Karthik? The van is moving for three. I said it's strong. I never said it's very strong. It's doing it, Karthik. Like you see, these rocks will not let us come back up. I'll prove you wrong, but so will the van. Okay, let's see. I, I'm, I would be the first time I would be happy to be proven wrong. Every little thing in our van is just shaking. Including the dogs. <laughs> Including the dogs. <laughs> it's so messed up. Bali, why don't you go straight with everyone? But we are very close to the river. I see the smoke right now as we speak. And it's supposed to be really steam, hot. Steam. Sorry, steam of the water. And it's supposed to be muy, muy hot. Muy caliente. Now, we've been to a bunch of hot springs in our past few years of exploring 10 plus countries, but this was never what we expected. An entire boiling river surrounded by tropical fauna with a backdrop of beautiful valley. I live in it. How's the water? Dude, this is the hottest hot, spring. hot springs I've ever felt. Holy sh! I don't think you'll be able to go in. It's too hot. Ah! Oh, yes. This feels better. The best part is kept in its natural state without commercializing it in its raw beauty. We were completely in awe and speechless when we saw it for the first time. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Just like burnt like a toast. Burnt like a toast. <laughs> burnt toast. <laughs> it's hot. This is a legit hot spring. It's not a lukewarm spring. It's a yes. hot spring. It's like boiling hot in and like freezing cold outside. Yeah, so my upper amazing. body is like cold. My lower body is cold. And the water is very sulfuric, so you yeah. cannot stick your head underneath the water. Yeah, you cannot touch it to your eyes or your mouth. Apparently, your eyes start to sting a lot if it gets into your eyes. You got it into your eyes? Yeah, it really stinks like fucking salt slash chili. It's not a bad way to spend. I went there, I got some in my eye too, shit! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> An epic, epic experience. It's really worth the two-day mission to get here. Mm -hmm. um, stayed there for too long, started getting head rushes. <laughs> Had to come out. Yeah. That was awesome. The sulfur turned my touring, which was silver, black in color. Oh shit, my, my wristband. It's going black. Yeah. Oh, oh, heard about my earrings. Those are gold. I'll take, okay. We are literally parked right outside this crazy thermal river. We're gonna go change, dry up, have breakfast because we are starving. We are making our way up on this gnarly road. We're fucked. We're fucked, right? So our van is not going up, back up the hill. We're pretty doomed. Pretty doomed. Stuck inside this valley for a while. I said so. Going out is not going exactly according to plan. We're completely getting stuck. The engine is completely overheating at this point. I'm really disappointed that this van has no power to do these kind of adventures and I keep being optimistic that it does. <sighs> I have to do something about this, really have to do something about this if we want to do adventures like this going forward. Well, we're stuck starving to the rescue so we can send... <laughs> At least, yeah, this is good actually. We can send messages to people, yeah. hey, we're stuck, help us. Yeah. In a remote area. I mean, that itself is worth this. Right, Bali? Like whatever. These boys are helping us. Nice Colombian people as always. But this part is really steep. So yeah, there's no way we can make it up without help. I'm trying to get a little push. Come on down man, you can do this. Holy shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh lord. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god. That's fucking insane. We've been stuck at the hot springs for the past, I'd say, two hours at least, right? I guess so. One car has tried to help us, it failed, but it got us this far. 
another yeah. another car has come to help us. The same guys came back. Same guys came back, but they brought back reinforcement with the four by four. Colombians have proved it again that these guys are the nicest hey. people on earth. <laughs> One more time, man. One more time. <laughs> Made it back to the top. This was a ridiculously insane mission for the first van life adventure back. Sim got off the van and uh, just to reduce some weight so it's easier to be pulled up because we kept breaking the ropes so often. We'll call Everest from this side of the hill. See if he hears me and comes here. Everest! Hey! Hey! You came! <laughs> <laughs> My husband didn't come. Only you came. We made it! We made it! Dude, I'm not pulling that kind of mission again with the brown man unless we get 4x4 four four or something major has to change with the engine power because engine is not pulling any weight at all on uphills and that sucks. I paid for the part, uh, the camping and the thermalis and the guy just came out laughing and he's like shaking his head. <laughs> like he's just like, I told you guys not to do Did this Did you pay shit. the guy, those kids? I tried to pay the guy that told us, but he's like, no, I won't take money from you. And the other kids? The other kids also, they're like, no, please. Like we just wanted to help Aww. and they left. Colombians are, the Colombians are the best. You guys always saving our butts from every single thing, dumb thing we do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm just happy to be out of here.